back out. Good morning. Good morning. It's currently 3.04 in the morning. Got up at 2.30. Mm. With hopes of leaving by 3 o'clock. Oh, it is hazy. It was cold in my truck. <laughs> Stop for gas. Puppies going potty. Oh, you can't even see them. Well, I thought I was going to give you guys a look at what inside of my trailer looks like when I pick up. Let's see. Alright. So they recommend stock trailer if you have one to pick up a wild mustang. But basically the idea is it should be like an open box. So I've got my dividers tied back there. They can also be removed, but I've never had a problem with just tying them back securely. That's latched and tied with hay string. This one just is tied. <laughs> but um, I mean, my trailer's dirty, but there's nothing on the floor. So. Hey, yo. Hi. <laughs> This is Freya and my boyfriend Connor, but Hello. let's be real, Freya's the important one here. Indeed. Look at all those tickets. Alright, it is, what time is it? It's 5 in the morning. We've been driving for two hours now. And.
reached out to me and um, donated some money so that I could actually get a Mustang from this adoption event and um, train it up and find it a new home. So, on my way to Paul's Valley. So I'll be adopting this horse myself. I'll be training it for probably two to three months, just depending on how things go. And then it will be up for reassignment with a training fee. So um, if you want to follow along, if you're interested in adopting this horse once its training is done, make sure to follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Both are Camille's Mustangs. And um, I'll probably be posting there and not on YouTube once it's up for adoption. So keep an eye out. Good morning! So Shelby made me the cutest sign and unfortunately my camera cut out and I didn't get the video of her holding it up for me to see. But how adorable is this y'all? Stop for food because people in this car were getting cranky. I couldn't deal with it. Yeah, it was him. By people, I meant him. So it is 7.16 now. We're like an hour behind schedule. But we'll still have an hour to look at horses. Shelby, are you excited? What kind of a horse do you want me to get? Good temperament. Good temperament one. That's what I'm looking for mostly. People always ask me what I look for in horses. First thing I recommend looking at is temperament. But hopefully I'll be able to show you at the prowls what I kind of look at when I'm going through these horses. Um, so I'm hoping for... I'm going to jinx myself by saying this because every time I say this I get a really difficult horse. But I'm hoping for an easy project. Um, so I'm going to look for one with really good temperament. And then I'm going to be uh, selling this horse at the end, so I'm going to look for one that looks nice and attractive. Um, maybe not right now, but one I can see the potential in. So that um, it will market well and get a good home. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Children are not allowed in the cockpit. Sorry. This is Paul's Valley. This is the start of their pasture land, this big tall fence here. Um, they've got an RV park here in case you want to stay the night before you pick up your horse. And um, the horses stay out on these pastures 99% of the time unless they're getting veterinary care or there's an adoption event like today. So those little pins you're going to see um, during the adoption event, the horses don't live in those. They're just up there so that we can get a close look at them. And here we are. We're already late. I know, it's 8.52. I wanted to get here at 8. It's okay, we'll still have time. Gotta fill out my application, get my bidder's number. There are some of the Mustangs that are not offered for adoption today. As you can see, they've got lots of water. Oh my goodness. Hang on, this horse is my spirit animal. I want that one. Just chilling in the pond by itself. All right, we're gonna see if we can pull up closer, hopefully. There are a lot of trailers here today. I wonder if I recognize anybody's. Everybody's unemployed due to the coronavirus, so we'll get horses. Holy crap, holy. We're gonna have some competition. It smells good. 
Oh yeah, there's a spot right at the front. I'm taking it. We're gonna take a look at the horses. Dogs are so excited to be out of the car. You might not be allowed to take them in the pens, just be aware. So that trailer there is where we can fill out an application. And uh, oh, there's a beautiful buckskin. It's little though. They're all little. There's a little Gria. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I like those grays too. They're all so cute. Y'all look, look at the dogs. Look, look, look. I know. At the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, what the heck? They're like, what are those? Wow. Look at this whitish one. Pretty. Yeah, you are. You're gonna go for a lot of money. These are geldings, I believe. It's that buckskin that caught my eye. He's cute. Yeah, he is. There are a bunch of little ones. Howdy. I'm guessing these are, yeah, these are mares. Yeah, some videos and pictures. You look like a sweetheart. You want to come home with me? Yeah. Hey. These look like yearlings. Oh my goodness. They don't have any as many horses as last time. You're going to go for a lot of money. You're cute. Yeah, you are. Oh, I like this little gray one. Yeah, you're cute. That's what I said. I was talking about you. You got little curly hairs. You might have to take her away. Yeah, I will. She's too far these look like the yearling geldings. It's a bunch of gray ones. This one's got a funny face. The gray one? Yeah. Hello, little gray one. Can I come say hi to you? The yearlings are usually pretty friendly. If she keeps barking, can I take her keys, turn the car on and It's unlocked. Kind of turn the car on, even yeah. The dogs. You're cute too. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Oh, these are cute burrows. I like that strawberry one. Oh, he's blocked now. They have so many burrows up for adoption. All the horses. All the horses are. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, you're not interested? Oh, I love the little strawberry ones. Hello. Y'all aren't so friendly, are you? Y'all like that water over there? You might not like the dog. Either. Someone overflowed your water bin. So, I got my bidder's number, filled out my application. That process took about five minutes. Wasn't too bad. And now we're going back to look at horses. So, gonna weigh some options. He caught my eye at first. I just think people are gonna want to spend money on them right here right now. If he's less than 300, I'm not gonna spend more than 300 on him. Why would I when there's other horses in my homes? So I like this mare, the 3, 4, 5, 8, because all these mares are pretty small, but she's got a lot of bone to her and she's 
um, very stocky. She's probably the stockiest one in there. Um, got a very wide, strong back. So even though she's small, she'd probably be strong enough to carry just about any rider. Uh, the other one I really like in this pen is this sorrel over here. Um, she's got good size to her. She's a little taller. She's hiding in the back now. She's a little taller than that first one. Um, and that first one's from Utah, too, which I'm not sure I'm ready to do another Utah mare so soon. They can be pretty, pretty feisty at first. So this pen I originally thought was full of yearlings, but these are actually adult horses from two to six years old. So they're, they're pretty little ones at this adoption. So um, I like this done one in the back left corner. The one that's got his tag flipped over his eyeball. I like the one that he looks very athletic, but he's, he's probably a little more watchful, a little more wary than the rest of them. So he wouldn't be one of my first picks. KLM Wild Horse and Barrel Adoption Program. Uh, these animals are on public lands out west. There's, just didn't remind me, I've done this thing. How many states? Uh, Everything west of Colorado has wild horses. California, Nevada, Oregon. I yeah, every state from west of Colorado on Forest Service or BLM land has wild horses and burrows, and they're protected by the Wild Horse and Burrow Act. Therefore, that's where BLM comes in. The only way to control their numbers is to capture and, and adopt it. Uh, last I heard, of just on BLM land and well, just on BLM land, actually, there was over 90,000 wild horses and burrows. Uh, their goal is 27,000, so we're a little bit over, <laughs> yeah. it's, and that's, that's the purpose of adopting. There's no other options. Uh, it's illegal to harass, chase, capture, kill uh, wild horses and burrows. So we do capture them, we adopt them, uh, and this is your guys' money. So we're also housing 50,000 plus on long-term ranches. Most of them in Central United States. Uh, those are older horses, 10, 12, 14, 20, that they've taken, turned out on a lease ranch, and that's where they'll live their life out. Most of those ranchers, like I said, are 20, anywhere from 5,000 to 20,000 acres. So they went from desert to a place with grass this tall and water every 400 yards. So not a bad life. Uh, these guys were all captured out west. I think there's one or two that was born in an Oklahoma facility. That's where it'll say Oklahoma on your list. Uh, the burrows just came in Saturday. They're out of Arizona. They were probably just caught in the last 30, 45 days. The jacks were just gilded. The jennies could be bred. Uh, the gildings we got in last week, most of them, there's a couple we added to them. Uh, I think they're all out of Utah, if I remember right. And the same deal, they were probably caught in the last four to five months. Uh, the yearlings, same deal, we got them probably a month or so ago. So everything here is pretty fresh caught. Uh, they've all had all their shots in a negative cognizance test. You'll get a copy of that when you adopt your animal. If you want a health inspection throughout another state, Come talk to me, I'll call our vet and Lindsay. If you'll run over there, I'll pay for it. But that's up to you guys to get up over there and see the pay for it. Uh, like I said, they've had all their vaccinations and they've been wormed. Uh, when you get them home, just give it to your vet. You're not required to keep all that up. It's up to you and your vet and what you want to do with them. Uh, make sure, guys, your pants, if you take one of the adult horses home, you say you have a six foot tall pen. Make sure it's six foot tall, because I guarantee you they will jump out. I don't know which one, but somebody will call me <laughs> tomorrow or the next day and say my horse is loose. <laughs> Happens every month, every adopter. Uh, mostly because they took it home and put it in a five foot tall or smaller pen. If it gets out, you're responsible for whatever it takes to catch it and any damages it does. So if it runs down the highway and someone hits it, you're responsible. If we have to come out and help catch it, it's not going to be cheap. So, and I don't want to scare you, I just want to prepare you. Uh, just make sure your pins are really, really good. If you want a halter on it, if you finish the halter, we'll put one on. Uh, any questions about the horses, the burrows, or anything like that?
Okay, what we're going to do here, uh, we're going to go down through the pen. Everyone has a little sheet like this. You need to be approved. You should have a little bid card if you want to bid. Please try and stay apart. If you're not bidding on a pen, social distance. You don't want to get anybody in trouble or sick or anything like that. Uh, you can walk down both sides of these pens and look around. We can go to pen one. We'll just go down the list of each horse. If only one person wants it, $25. If more than one people want it, we're just going to auction them off. And I am not an auctioneer, so if we screw up, we're going to back up and sort of <laughs> as we can, but it's slow so everybody understands. The key to this program, guys, is this horse belongs to the federal government for at least a year. He is not yours, or the donkey. Uh, you've submitted your stuff to get $500. You should get that 100 days. Uh, by the time they get all the paperwork, everything has to be done by paper, so it's kind of slow. And with your banking information, uh, in a year, you should get a letter in the mail, which is a title application. Take that to your veterinarian, have him sign off on it, or if Cody or somebody's out around there, they can sign off on it. Mail it back in with your title application. In a couple weeks, you should get a title that's kind of like this. When you get this title, and guys, I mean it literally, when you get the title in your hands, the animal's yours. It is no longer the property of the federal government. If you forget to get the title 20 years down the road, it still belongs to the federal government. So get your title. If you adopt it and give it to her and she gives it to him, and he takes it to the horse sale, and it's not titled, well, we're coming back after you. Because you got rid of theft the government property. If you don't get all the paperwork, call us. Because we do want you to get the title. So we don't want to be chasing these down 20 years from now. And we see it the same deal every year. People forget to do it. So I just want to point out something that might be a little bit confusing to those of you who watching who aren't familiar with the Wild Horse and Burrow program. Yes, this man just said you cannot sell a horse within one year of it being in your care if you went through the adoption program. So while you cannot do that, there is another way you can rehome a horse, which is through reassignment, which goes through the Bureau of Land Management. So that's what I plan on doing once this horse finishes its training with me. It will go to reassignment. So the new adopter has to fill out an application with the BLM. There's a small reassignment fee. And then the one year period starts over with that new adopter. So that's the approved way to rehome a horse that went through the adoption program. I just want to clear that up in case some of you are like, wait a minute, this guy said you can't sell your horse within a year but this is what Camille's planning on doing just want to clear all that up so this horse won't be for sale he'll be for reassignment but i will be charging a training fee along with a 25 dollars reassignment fee that goes to the blm all righty pin one 31 or 34 11 anyone interested in that animal i got 25 anyone else for 30 i got 25 25 for 30 and now 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Back to you. 100. 100. I need a yes or no. Adopt it for $90. What's your ticket number? 25A3. Now 20, now 30. And 40. And 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. 10, 250. I got 250 here. 300? 260. And 70. 80? 90? 300. See, I tried to shorten it up. 310. 310 and 20. 30. 40. 8917. Anyone want him? 8917. I got 25 and 30. I got 45. 45 and 50. 60. 65. 65, 75. 100. 
125. 150. 175. 200. I got 75. 160. 160. 160. Adopted for 150. There we go. Uh, 1782. A2, not A2. A2, sorry. A2. A2. I'm a little excited. Okay. And that was the last horse, the white horse, right? Yes, sir. Come on. Hey, buddy. He's the alpha male. He's the alpha male. I like it. I like it. But we've only got two rounds. You got that on video? Yeah. That's awesome. I have Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, I got my paperwork for my horse. Went ahead and pulled my trailer into the line here. Got a big long line going. And uh, when I get a little closer, I'm going to give them my load ticket that tells them what horse I have, which one to pull up to get ready to load. And then I'm going to go ahead and back up to that chute there. And we're going to get my horse loaded and get on the road. So I didn't quite get enough videos to explain why I bit on this boy. I was looking at the mares, but the man said they were recently captured and there was a possibility they could have been bred. And I didn't want to have to deal with a mare that could have been in full. So I decided to pass on the mares. Um, I wanted the dun gelding the most because he was larger and older. So I could uh, start him under saddle without having to worry and he had a little bit better confirmation as well. But the white horse was my second choice because he was very large, which I liked, and he had a good demeanor, good calm attitude, despite the fact that he is definitely the alpha of his pen. And I thought he was put together pretty well, despite the fact that he's in a bit of an awkward phase as far as growing goes. And he may end up just being old enough to start under saddle, if not, he'd be a great little in-hand project. Also, his size and color are appealing to a lot of people, so that would make it very easy to find a good, loving home that would want to take care of him. So this is what it looks like to get these horses sorted out and ready to load. That big old horse in the middle is actually a formerly wild Mustang. He's been working these pins for years. I see him every single time I'm up at Paul's Valley and he does a very good job of getting these Mustangs sorted out as easily as possible so that they can go off and uh, be gentle themselves and hopefully find the perfect job for them. So one of the BLM workers told me that they had been calling my new horse Lucky and I asked her why and she said that until a week ago he had been a Torquid which means that as he had matured only one of his testicles had dropped from his abdomen into his scrotum, and the other one was retained in his abdomen. So he was scheduled to have a surgery to remove both the testicles. And it's a lot more difficult of a surgery than a regular gelding procedure, and it doesn't always have a great outcome. But on the day that the vet came out to perform his cryptorchid surgery, they went out and found that his second testicle had descended that morning. So instead of a surgery, they were able to do a regular gelding procedure and came up for adoption one week later. Uh, no halter. Okay. Y'all don't leave the tags on anymore, do you? We do not. Okay. Just the one. All righty. Hopefully today's his lucky day too. Oh, good catch. Thank you. I think he is. I think it is. We're good, Cody. Did you get the white one? Look at you. Not usually my type. Good. Uh, we made good time. We're getting out of here before one. Is what I was hoping for. Yeah, oh, it's party yeah. time. 
Got to get a picture by the sign. It's tradition. Oh, that's a video. Whoops. Nice. Hi. What you think? Pretty spooky. Oh, you touched my hand though. Does that smell good? You just lifted your hand. Yeah. That's cute. So you smell like chicks mix. Easy. Hey, it's a little. Good right. boy. Good. Good. Oh. Don't let him get you. <laughs> Got a pretty spotty Stop for a lunch break. Parked the trailer in the shade of some trees. People always ask if you're supposed to give them hay or water. They usually won't drink it just because they're a little bit uncomfy. So uh, just leave them there. Let them hang out in the shade and get a little break from the road. You can take a look at everything and uh, then we'll get back on the road soon. You wanna go say hi to Connor? You're a handsome fella. Yeah, you are. <gasps> Look at that. Pretty sweet boy. I hope so. You can never really tell till you get him home. May! I'm trying to pull a fast one on us. Quick, let's run off while they're paying attention to the horse. Last stop for gas and bathroom before we get home. He looks tired. Yeah. You tired? Can I scratch your butt? Oh boy, he's not sure he likes that. It's okay, you'll get used to it eventually. Yeah, good boy. We're almost to your new home. Just a little bit more.
could have plowed right through that tiny little car. So just pay attention to your surroundings and give horse trailers a lot of extra room. Thankfully, this horse does not appear to be hurt at all. Um, he was a bit shaken after he was breathing hard and kind of freaked out, but he's settled down a lot since then. We pulled it over right after to check on him and make sure he was okay. But, I mean, if he had been seriously injured, I wouldn't have had a way to treat him. He's not gentle. He's never been voluntarily touched by a human. I mean, it's crazy that the careless driver almost got him really hurt. So just pay attention when you're on the road, people. The mares are angry. They feel betrayed. They're like, Boy, what is sword. that? Look at this. Look. The mares are like, what is in your trailer? They greeted me when I drove up. They were like, ah, and they followed me around the house. Yeah, they haven't been like, fed since 3 a.m. I was going to say, they're probably more like, I need food. Feed yeah, me now. Yeah, they're like, feed me, mom. All right, here we go. My mares are going to hate me. So you brought a boy home? Ugh. He's pretty dominant too. We'll have to see if I'll get along with my mares. But that's a long time down the road, probably. Boop, boop, boop. Get out the way! Boop, boop. Thank you. Tuxedo turned her back. She said, I'm not having this. <laughs> I know. It didn't happen. This isn't happening. Nope. Nope. Not today. She's like, okay. Okay, let me take a look. She's like, oh, oh never mind. He's quite handsome. I can, I can dig it. Especially when they, when they nearly die in a car accident on the way here. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. I'll have to hear all about it. I mean, but y'all drove, what, how many hours? A lot. A lot. Cause so he's been in there, so that's like his comfortable spot right now. I mean, he did take a tumble. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, some dude was driving like 20 miles an hour and just cut across two lanes and like, we were going 70 down the highway, and this dude was going 20 down the highway. That's stupid. Come on, little buddy. You can do it. Like, I don't want to, though. Do you think the girls being behind him would help? Yeah, I was hoping he would get out on his own, but... Are you going to go help? You going to give him a poke? Oh, wait. Oh. Right. He just needed you to get out of the way. He said, get out of my way. Good luck keeping <laughs> No way. Good luck oh, keeping yeah. this one clean. Out of boy. And he's bigger than your other two and he's still growing. Who so says a doctor? No one yet. He's a project. Oh. Me, I'm the adopter. Connor wants him. Connor, Connor are you gonna put forth that training money? 
said as long as she gives me a good price. So it's not pretty common oh, for man. Mustangs to jump off the trailer and get right to eating. Usually takes them a while to get settled. The girls are feeling betrayed. They're like, where's our food? He's pretty calm. He is pretty calm. You think Yeah, a little bit. It's, they did it super long so that it would come up black, but his mane falls over most of it. Nice. It's like, leave me alone. I just want to eat. I feel He's you, bud. Oh, he didn't touch me. Close. But that was real. That was good. We'll do it again in the morning. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot from it. I'm really excited about my new project Mustang and you can subscribe to follow along with his training. Thank you.